Hello and welcome back to part three of the EvaPod build. Uh, today's going to be working on painting all the buttons. Let's get these buttons all painted up. We got different colors. We got mostly blue. A um, couple spots were some yellow and some green down on the console. And one or two uh, red ones we got to put in uh, painting up as well. So let's get started. Well, hello. Here we are. Um, I got over excited and actually just started spraying the blue on all of them and I wanted to show you some of them, but it's really just spraying the buttons. I taped off areas I didn't want it to get hit like these black areas there and the white buttons. I peeled off the ones here and I just hand brushed those reds on. I think they'll be okay. I want to hit these with a clear because as you can see I can easily scuff so we want to seal those down that way we can put the decal button decals down on do another I want to do a clear gloss so I'm gonna to have to still cover those areas so we can pull these guys up I want to be careful because the blue paint is scratchy oh, well. now do I want I don't think it would matter too much if I hit. The window sills that I have darkened now, or the clear. I just don't want to hit it with the blue. I mean, I might have shiny rims. Window sill areas. there but that's okay that can be a kind of cool sheen look to where the monitor screens are I probably shouldn't do this but I really want to see oh that looks good that looks really good Oh, and they're lighting up just as nice as if you stuck a blue light back there. Hell yeah. I'm extremely happy with that. But this is kind of the way you got to go with these with these uh, button decals. But I think they were worth it. Even if I only see it on here, these are dark enough that you're going to see the white labels. So that's perfect. I'm very, 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 very happy. Okay. So we can keep track and we can get this one cleared, that one cleared. I hope the clear kind of mellows out any brush strokes, but even just drying it did. I think those would be fine. Um, so we can start peeling all the tape off of these except for the part that's covering actual interior black. It's just easier to do that and then just <laughs> work together. But hell yeah, that's gonna look good. piece but I think if I hit it with clear this direction but I might put one more piece there a little piece just to make sure this one's a solid blue doesn't ever get Oop, and I kind of nicked that button already not good but it's small enough a nick that I can maybe make it look like a little bit of a dark spot on the button. There we go. Gotta be careful because it 
just gonna want to until I seal these. They're solid blue. Until I seal these, it's, they're gonna want to scratch off. And it'll be kind of impossible to. Not totally, because you could just strip it. That's not hard to strip all that. Let's see how clean that came. Came out pretty clean. Pretty straight, and that probably use my magnifying glass because I want to clean a little bit of this side of this white button, but not scrape the side of the blue button. That's good enough. Let's see if we can get this one up without shooting anything up. So our four white ones with the blue on top. I do want to run this in here just a little bit. That's pretty good. I can't complain about that. I like that. That looks good. And you, you didn't have anything. You are all blue. And you, we got to tape up more. Well, let's get some of these here that are easy, breezy, clear coats. And I'm really happy with this Vallejo uh, transparent paints. I wish I had a yellow. I have a green to do all of that. But thank God there's not a lot of yellow. I'm just going to thin out. One of my acrylic yellows, I don't know if I use my craft acrylics or I just use like this. I'm thinking more of this because I think that's what kind of what these are. And just thin this out a lot. To where, ooh, that one's kind of open. Oh, the yellow's good. I can thin this out a lot and make it a transparent. But now I can use for the yellow. So, let me touch that blue. Let's just get some sealing, clear seal on here. And something that'll also help the decal stick on. Well, welcome back, everyone. Um, making some progress here. Got this taped off and uh, did the yellows. So, we're going to get ready to tape off and do the greens. And uh, what else might I have done? Put a clear coat on all these so they're ready for decals, for the button decals, which made those the red that I painted by hand look so much better because the clear kind of you know blends it and gets rid of the brush strokes. I am going to brush a little more red around the base of the buttons just so. Uh, let's see, here's the. Is this the photo etch piece yet? But that's what it'll end up looking like when it's together. But when you shine through a light, sometimes, I mean, I don't have the photo etch pressed down all the way, but I want to make sure I don't get any little bit of white around the outer edge. So, with spraying these, it, it covered, uh, <clears throat> you know, around the edges of the buttons really good. So, I want to do the same that red and there might be an area of blue where I taped really close like this one here I'll probably paint around the bottom of it the base of it just to make sure but let's let's take a look at this I keep reusing these sheets because they get a they get less tacky each time I use them but they're sticky enough just to and I'm pretty much covering the same shape every time. And that's what I was worried about is the blue on that main control. 
center control. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the decal in before I put the photo etch part down. <coughs> because otherwise, it's if you have this kit, those squares are actually recessed down where they wanted you to put it, you know, because they figured you were going to put the decal right over this, and then it would sink in when it when it settled, you know, when the decal settled. But since we're putting a piece of photo etch, now we're making that trench a little deeper. So if I would put the decal on this piece and try to get that to sink all the way down there correctly, nah. So we'll put the decal down first. And then I can do the gloss coat and then that those lights can be actually glossy. That, 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 you know. And then I'll put the rest of the decal on top here. And then I don't have to worry about that. And then there's supposed to be actually a white trim around the the uh, red button or the red light. So that'll be cool. I think that'll be the best thing to do that is cut that out. Because these, oh and I, I got a decal on. I did a decal test. It, it looks great. And they are exact to the T. But you will have some carrier film. You just got to try to, you know, if you see from this side, if you see any little white, you, you, your decal's off. And even if you like, I see like a hair white there, which means there's decal film. But when you look over here, then when the button comes up, you're gonna, it's gonna push into that pinstripe. But there, it's just perfect. I couldn't get that to slide anymore. And they don't want to slide on this because it's not like it's a, a, a smooth, even like a surface with texture. It, it's actually got a surface with holes, so they really don't. And then you gotta be careful because all oh, this is fragile this edge here all those thin lines especially this big one here I did have this one break but I pieced it together as well as best I could it actually broke in two pieces it broke off from here and then it's one piece and then another piece but I got all that looking good except for I don't know a piece of when it broke might have missed but the ship the pod doesn't have to look perfect. Someone could have scratched the pinstripe off on there. Might be a button they hit all the time. I don't know. But, so that's okay. But yeah, I figure I'd test one of those <laughs> instead of getting one. You know, at least that's in a line. These are going to be fun. The monitor ones. But all right. So now it's taping off. Everything, yeah, I should just put one piece of tape over here. But, but we're mainly doing the green, so it's gonna be, sh yeah, but we'll be shooting. So we can reuse the big blue tape. <laughs> Let's get rid of the tackiness, the over tackiness. Still afraid those blue a bit pulling up on those blue buttons. <clears throat> and we gotta be cautious of this yellow because I haven't cleared yellow yet. Let's get these two rolls again. I can use 
use the thin stuff to kind of They just didn't leave you much of an edge there, you know? Give me a tape flex is so much better stuff. So. Being so it's a thinner masking tape. Very good. I think that is, that's going to work great. <coughs> and it seems not to be because I pulled it up off the paint. It's not pulling my paint up. All righty. I need a fresh cup of, co cup of coffee. So, we just got to fill in all the big spots. Um, actually, I, didn't, I, I can just use a small piece there. And a small, I can cut this in half. Small, and then more tap it on the paint or the actual other tape than the actual painting because I'm still worried about tape wanting to pull up on that yellow. Should, but should and would. It's just the precaution. So I always press the other tape on the new tape or the old tape. <coughs> Should really be blasting that direction. Yeah, I mean a little bit. But I don't think would hurt just to run. Really, can I use any of these for anything? like suspending tape on tape. <coughs> do we need to do the same thing there? I don't really think so. 
Otherwise, this is a beautiful franchise. If this was if anything weird, goes weird, I can just hit with black. It's just, you know, the everything you need. Again, I'm just touching that tape to the other tape, and you have those little ledges that I stuck out that you can attach the big tape to. And it's a really good way to keep your tape, you know, if you don't want to press, if you're working with kind of wet paint, <laughs> if you're impatient like me, <clears throat> and just tape your tapes to the tape. Get, go to get a good baseline stuck to the plastic and then your others you can just yeah, do that. I think we're good. Now let's mix up a, I'm going to go mix up a green. Really just thin a green down. That to me it worked good for the yellow. I just thinned it really down a lot with the uh, 20A, X20A. Here's our green. So I'm going to go spray that and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here's our green buttons. They're green and they look good. And I cleared them. And I keep this tape. Keep the blues because we can use them for something else, maybe. Maybe not. As long as we don't peel up anything, we're good. This is pretty dry and solid, so I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about the yellow and and the yellow stayed down. Yeah. And those edges came out good. It looks like we got enough green up kind of with one way to check. Is the put Oh, that looks good. close to the light so it would make sense if it's creeping through the behind the button a little lighter because you know we're, we're saying the buttons are giving the light color not the uh, actual there's not a colored light under the button the button is giving the like color because you know I finally got at least I think so a definitive answer on like 
should these be white and there's a light bulb under a making color. I was just watching the makings of 2001 and looking at the sets and with these panels and even the sets they had for the end shots from the movie. But when the panels are off, they are blue. If they're a blue button, they're a blue button. So the actual buttons are colored. The, uh, it's not a colored light underneath. I mean, it might be a colored light underneath as well, but... But and when, the, when they showed the panels off, or that button wasn't depressed or whatever, in light mode, if it was a blue button, it was blue. If it was white, if it was white. If it was red, it was red. So that gave me the definitive answer on uh, that color in these buttons like we are instead of running colored lights behind them it's the actual proper way so when this is off it will look like an Eva pod from the film off because you will see the colored buttons so I'm happy we got we got buttons. Let's, let's look at this cluster. Are you the one? No, you're not. I just want to see how that looks with the green in it. Oh yeah. The green and the two yellow. Looking good. Let's just for giggles put this one. No, why were you doing it? Yeah, that's gonna look good. That looks good. And then when you look in there, you see what the buttons, the colors are. Cat hair, of course. And I really like that yellow and green. The blue really looks cool. It has a deep blue to it. It really goes good with the buttons. It's going to be good seeing all the blues around. But yeah, that should look really freaking cool. If I hold them up to the light, oh. It doesn't really matter to me how big the channel or anything. I'm so excited. But I'm going to start doing some decals. On these, I'm gonna let some of this set a little bit longer. But I want to get these decals down so I can hit a clear over them and let them cure. And then I can do the decals on these, let them cure, clear coat, and let them cure. And then we can actually start putting that all together, I think. And then that's where we start figuring out. Then once they're all on there and in there. Then we can start figuring out uh, exactly how we're wiring everything. Once we have all the. Not sure exactly where this wall goes. I think somewhere over here. <clears throat> we get all those walls in. Oh, that looks so good. I want to put the panel on. Oh, that's going to look so good. Yeah. So I do want to dip a little black in there to make sure that sits right. This panel might actually even hide some of that. But, well, that's photo etches all the way down. That's fine. But yeah, that's going to look sweet. I'm liking it. Yeah, because of that panel goes there. And you're fitting in so nice, and that makes that really makes me happy. Are you this panel? Which is this panel? I don't have the meters in yet. The meters are going to get glued to the photo oh, But that's how you'll look.
Oh, it's just fun messing around. I'm thinking about doing some type of flickering light here to make those monitors because I saw the, the monitors flicker a little bit and it's actually not video flicker it's film flicker because their monitor they didn't have computer monitors so what they did is they had like a little f movie screen film and then they had a film that projected the image on the animated image onto that screen so that yeah so part of the time excuse me part of the time it took for them to set up for a retake or a scene was rewinding these screens back <laughs> and it must have been a hell of a like you must have had to do a big clip because if you just wanted to fix one spot and that screen was different I mean I guess if it's a quick cut you can, it, you can make it look like the screen changed, but <laughs> there'd be a continuity thing if it's a, like a red ATM screen back alongside him and then it immediately flicks. But usually there would be a cut and then it could change because those screens change. So. But yeah, it's going to look good. And now I got to do the other side just to... But I think I'm going to make... I definitely want to make a screen flicker. I don't know if I just do the two in the front because it'll be easier to do. Because see, those need to be up like that. But wow, yeah, that's gonna look good. Still say there could be more white over in this side, but that's that's okay because really all these are. I'm not sure where these go. These must go here. And then they meet with the, this wall here. Or no, how, how do these go? Like that? No. These are definitely the long ones. Yeah, and you snap them into... I'm not sure which one goes on which side, probably like this. Uh, I think those go like that. I'm not quite sure. The way these go because... Unless, yeah. I don't think those go. To go like, I'll have to look because that's confusing. There's the three plugs. Now, do you do something like this? But I know those aren't facing out, so is it something like this? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, they're going to come in more. And then that meets the sphere. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. Yeah, because you put you here, which looks really good. And that, that pulls some white buttons over on this side. That's nice. Yeah, you're going to slide like that. That's awesome. Yeah, you're gonna be like that. It is a big cockpit. But okay, um, I'm rambling and just having fun. Sometimes it's neat just to see where you're getting. I'm really happy with the progress, but until next time we will be, uh, hopefully put, you know, I'll probably show you a, a couple of the labels, uh, putting the labels down. This is just pretty much, I like decaling anything, but just make sure all the holes, I was looking through the backside, 
and making sure I saw no white because the decal has a, a white edge like you can see a little bit there but that's the best I could get that to move I'm just hoping that it doesn't lose no nope, it's gonna keep that pin straight that's all I care about but I want to get a clear down before I mess with any of that because a clear will help seal all that down so yeah the Eva pod um, we got the buttons colored so now we're moving on getting some decals down and I'm just for kicks and giggles want to hook this one into and they really it's really a good design because everything pieces together really nice I could probably squish yeah that's pressing put a little more pressure down there because these aren't down right quite yet you almost got to put these two halves together and then I wonder if that's how they're telling you to do that they tell you to put two halves together and they're telling you to put the monitors in and then they have you mount it down that's just that when they have you mounting I think these here we go so, so we have that. It's the whole lower section of the ball. 3D. 3D. Uh, then connect and slow up and right 10 and 11 to the main. Add the upper right panel 16 and panel far right 13. What I would do is I would glue these two halves together and then at the same time then glue it down, you know, then you have working ability, but everything seems to be snapping pretty well together. But then that, that way you have these two together and they, they should just flop right down in. That's what I'm thinking. And then you can glue these at your leisure because it seems like these, this might be 16. Uh, it seems like these, yeah, they're they're gonna snap on just fine. Nothing really to them. So, but all right, uh, everyone. Till next time. Thanks for watching.